I'm just going to do some testing with the audio because I am going to add some background music for the first time today. I need to figure out how um, loud it's coming across. So I'm just going to join the stream on another device. Hopefully, we'll see if it actually works. Okay. So, music should be playing. How loud is it? Just let me know in the chat if it's too loud. Turning it up now a bit. That's working really well. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of background music through. That's good. Well, we'll have to just see how that goes. Sounds good for me. I will um, keep an eye on it. If you end up telling me that it's too noisy or distracting, I'll turn it off again. But I thought it'd be something a little bit different to what I have been doing previously. Okay, cool. I thought I'd add a just chatting session at the beginning. Um, you know, a bit more welcoming, maybe get some people joining us. If you are watching, please do join the chat. This is not much fun on my own. <laughs> no one wants to hear me talking to myself. But yeah, just was going to go into a little bit of detail about um, what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be um, working on player movement. I'm just gonna put some aspirational picture in the chat. Um, yeah, so hopefully at some point we will get to something like this. I want to build a game. What you're looking at now is just a picture. So, I mean, this isn't um, my game at all yet, but I want to have this kind of a shopping trolley walking around the supermarket kind of feel to the game. And the game will actually be a um, kind of cathartic experience of taking back control of supermarkets during the current corona crisis. Um, I want people to be able to play as a security guard who can enforce uh, social distancing and mask wearing and all of those sort of things, the kind of things that made me feel quite uncomfortable when I used to go to the shops. I don't go to the shops anymore now, it's just too much stress. I can't deal with that. Um, but this will hopefully be a fun way to uh, deal with that. Of 
got something in the chat. Nightbot timed out. Pretzel rock for five seconds. Stop posting links. No, oh, that's not what we want. We do want pretzel rock to be in the stream. I might have to fix the nightbot. chat in my own test chat. I feel like that's a problem if Pretzel can't actually post the attributions in the chat. So See if I can fix that. I've only just added the bot, so this is the first time I'm dealing with this. It wasn't a problem in the past. So, spam protection. Disable that for now. Not entirely sure where I can fix this. Oh, we've got some action in the chat. Oh boy. Yeah, I definitely need to deactivate links. Look, we're getting some spam in here. Brilliant. Okay, so let's go back to enable that. Maybe I can just add an exception. Whitelist, here we go. Hey Drona, nice to see you. <laughs> I'm just dealing with the spam problem. Let me just quickly clear the chat. Get rid of all that rubbish. Okay. You still there? Say hi in the chat. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's actually get some work done. Dun, 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 dun. Drone, are you listening in? Uh, how's the sound quality? I can't quite tell if the music's too loud or anything like that.
Okay, let's have a look. We are on stream five today. We want to fix some issues from the last stream. We have to make some transitions for the animation and get the blend working, which wasn't working properly. And then our objectives for today's stream are we want to add different layers for player floor and obstructions. And we want to add wall colliders to prevent walking through them. Cool. In which case, I'm just going to quickly jump in and show off what the problem is. Actually, let's maximize that. Do, 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 do. Maximize all the way. Cool. So we're not walking. We're just kind of bobbing a little bit. And we can walk right off the broom, right through the walls. That's something we want to stop happening. Drona, sorry I'm here in between queues. Music volume seems okay. Although well, you didn't respond to my messages earlier, so I'm very disappointed. <laughs> what was your message earlier? I was caught with all the spam. Oh, all I saw was an unhappy face. Please don't rage quit. <laughs> That'd be very sad. Okay. All right, where's our animator? Okay, let's have a look at this first. So, the, this is a list of all of my animations for my player. So far we've got our little idol going on here. Which you can see. He's just kind of bobbing a bit. Nice little bob going on. We've got some different animations already for running in different directions. So we've got a run down, run left, run right, and run up. They're just not working yet properly. So in our animator, what we're going to do is we are going to connect everything up so that when we walk around in the game, it actually switches to the right animation. So I need to be able to transition from being idle into this blend tree. And actually let's call this blend tree, let's call this running. That makes it easier to follow. Okay, so for our transition, we want... <laughs> we don't want anything like that. So we don't want an exit time. And we want to have no transition. So it will go straight from being idle into running. Cool. Now, we want to transition. Ah, we need something else there. We basically need to add a parameter. And what we are going to create is a float value. We're going to call this speed. This is going to track how fast our character is moving. So, when our speed is basically bigger than zero. So when we have any speed whatsoever, we want to move into running. And on the flip side, when we are not running, i.e. when our speed is zero, then we do want our character to be idle. Let me just say that again. When we are moving at any speed, we want to transition to running. And when we stop moving at any speed, we want to transition back to idle. 
Now that we have our new parameter, capital S speed, we can update our running script. Right, what do we want to do? When we update our session, we want to set the speed parameter to magnitude, square magnitude. Save that. Watch it crunch. Waiting, 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 waiting. Cool. Let's have a go, see what we're working with. I mean, that's a start. <laughs> so at least we're moving. <laughs> Always the same direction though, so that's wrong. What are we missing? Let's have a look in here. <clears throat> Let's just set the speed to something. Oh, what have we got here? Set everything to zero. That's probably a good place to start. And we'll just create some speed for the sake of it. That's not doing anything. Okay. So that's right. What am I missing? So those should all be zero to initiate. Right. OK, so up and down are working. Why is horizontal not? Horizon. Ah, that'll be why. Horizontal is not right. This is why you should always copy and paste things. Let's have a look at what's happening now. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Getting a bit of a slide going on there. Takes a second to slow down. Eh, I quite like it. Might need to increase friction levels. But hey, we've got a walker. Woo! Left, down, right, up. Okay, I'm going a bit dizzy now. Let's stop that. Okay, great. That's an objective actually done. Oh, what's we got here? Blend tree, blend tree, and state none controller. Okay, let's just clear the errors. We have fixed that. Okay, so we've added our transitions and we fixed the blend tree. Woo! Excellent. That means I can close an issue. Then I really need to try and stop myself from singing along to music I don't know. I can see this being very embarrassing. Cool, anyway, player movement animation is done. Donezo. Just wall collisions now. Uh. Anyway, progress. That's what we're here for.
Okay, right. Let's have a look. What are we dealing with? So, we need to fix our walls. That means we need to go into our tile palette and do some tiling work. Okay, so the thing is, I need to have an obstruction layer. I think the way I'm going to handle this is actually by copying our tiles onto a different layer. Um, is it worth putting a lot of effort into that at this point? Eh, should probably get the proof of concept working before I move on to doing other stuff later. Okay, fine. So, to start with, I'm going to take all of our walls off of our base layer. Because our base layer should not have any interaction on it. Okay. Next, we need to create a. No, we don't need a new palette. We need a new tile map layer. Okay, we need 2D tile map. And I'm going to call this one. Naming is hard. So I'm thinking collision or obstruction or something. It's going to be other stuff on it as well, though. Maybe. Let's just go with collision. Why not? And now we can get to paint our walls again. Okay, where are walls? Walls are here. Obviously this level isn't very exciting yet. That'll be a future task, actually designing the layout of the supermarket. But I want to make sure that it's actually going to work as a concept before I start putting effort into it. Okay, cool. So if I look at my project now, and I look at my two different layers. Right, I need to go into my collision layer now. And I need to add box collider. What do I want to do? Tile map collider 2D. That sounds like the thing I want. Now I can do optimizing with a composite, but I think that's enough for now. So I've got my collider. I probably haven't got a player collider yet, to be honest. I should probably sort that out. Um, in fact, let's do that now. Do I have a collider? I have a rigid body. No collider. Cool. So, let's zoom in a bit. Let's make it a box collider, because... Let's face it, I'm quite boxy. Oh, should I go with a polygon collider? It's 
Let's do a capsule collider. I'm quite capsule shaped. Okay, just need to edit the collider. Get that nice and neat. Okay, let's see. Is that going to work? Yay! Oh! <laughs> I am moving <laughs> my room. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. That is fun. Cool, let's fix that quickly. Let's go. That should be on the tile map directly. I think. Oh, I can't see it on here. Uh, probably on the collision layer then. So if I have a look at my collision and I go into the renderer. There should be a freeze somewhere. That's the collider. No, not that. Rotation scale. Does this need a rigid body? It would be really good to have an expert right about now. Does a time map need a rigid body? Hmm. Actually, I should probably check what is rotating. Let's have a look. So where is that rotation? Oh, I'm rotate. Oh, that makes so much more sense. I'm rotating and the camera's rotating with me. Fine. Okay. Well, that's an easy fix then. If I go to my player and I go into my rigid body, constraints, freeze the Z rotation. There we go. Boom. Well, that's a bit strange. I should be able to go higher than that, I feel. Maybe if I reduce my capsule collider? Maybe that's the thing I need to do. Um, better. Feet are good, I think. All of this will be made clear once we've got some actual stuff in the game. I think I need to get building it higher than that. Yeah, that looks good enough to me. Let's just make that change permanent. Okay. Save.
I'm not enjoying the uh, flickering of the tiles. What's that all about? I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. Was that there before? Ugh, it's ugly as. Quick reminder to viewers, I don't bite. Please do join the chat and say hi. You get a lot more out of the stream if you ask questions. Some saves to changes. Okay, what have we done? We've changed some of the blend tree stuff. No idea what that is. Stream five, we have, we have fixed the running animation and what do we just do? Wall collisions. Peeking at the password, please. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's all we had to do today. What time are we on? It's only 20 past. Should we have a look at something else? Level decorations, shoppers, AI, one-way system. These are all pretty big tasks. Level decoration sounds fun to me. Okay. We might not be able to do much of this, but at least we can make a start. Maybe we can even do some designing. Yeah. What's the best way to go about this? Need to do some sketching. Let's just look through some assets. Some modern interiors. Look at a grocery store. Oh, so much stuff.
This looks great. Let's get this into the project. Enjoying this. Too far gone. Inushuk and Outwild. Cool track. I like this. Right, we need to do some chopping. It's a simple sprite. Multiple. No filtering. Uh, have I got any advanced? Yeah. Compression. No. Sprite editor. Let's do a. Do I want to do automatic for this? Is this going to go on the tile map? This is probably not going to go on the tile map. I won't be painting any of this. Oh, but maybe I will. Yeah, go on. Let's stick in the tile map. Good to me. Is this going to crash everything? <laughs> no, there we go. Okay. Good. Lots and lots of tiles. Okay, let's get them into the tile map. New palette. We are calling this one. What are we calling this one? Let's go with objects. Definitely need to do some folder reshuffling in a second. 664 tiles. Good lord. Well, this is exciting. Um, right, well, this is going on. something where I can just do some sketching.
Okay. Blacksmith shop. That'll do. So I'm thinking for our level layout. I want to be quite big. I want to have probably a bottom here entrance and an exit over here. I want to have Let's just get some boxes for that. How many tills do we want? Like four? They're too big anyway. Aisles. We want some aisles going this way, and some aisles going this way. These aren't the right numbers. We probably want more than this. <laughs> See all that stuff at the back. Stuff at the sides. people coming in people can wander around And then need some sort of barrier down here. How do you make this work? Some sort of barrier like that. And then don't know we're stabilizing, let's just wait it. See, this doesn't even work. I've got the wrong number here. Messed it up. Anyway, there we are. That's kind of the basic layout I'm thinking of. 
hopefully that that's the kind of thing we're going for so it's gonna be quite difficult to work out spacing because we need to have space people to walk past things round i think we're going to just do it by trial and error but anyway cool we've got our tile map sorted and my baby girl's waking up so maybe that's where we leave it. Yeah, we've made a bit of progress there. Quick look at the stream. Two viewers, not much going on in the chat. Don't know if people are actually viewing or if they've left already, but it was good to hang out today. I'm quite happy with the bugs that I fixed. I'm quite glad that we can do some walking now. This is already much better than it was last week. Woo. I definitely need to figure out what's going on with those lines. Anyway, um, cool. It was good hanging out. I'm glad all the progress we made and um, hopefully see you soon. I'm trying to get a stream schedule working now. So I'm hopefully going to be streaming, streaming on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But that's still very much dependent on whether my child sleeps or not. Anyway, um, cool. Bye-bye.